How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at a pair of Daiso color combo headphones. They are brown and blue and I get a lot of interesting items from Daiso and if you've been around for my channel uh, or been on my channel a long time you know that Daiso is a Japanese store that I have here in California, and I believe they're in many other states as well. But you're able to find a lot of really interesting kind of cheaper items, and I believe these were only $5 or something around that. So basically what we're going to do is see if these cheap headphones have good sound quality or not. One thing I really like about them already is the kind of retro kind of brown and blue design. I really like how they look. They're kind of like a out-of-the-box kind of coloring pattern. I don't really see any other headphones having this kind of color pattern. But let's go ahead and zoom in on the box at the bottom right here. It says it has a 3.5 millimeter plug on the ear cups, super bass, and it says there's cables coming out of both sides. And then if we zoom in on the back, we'll see there's probably pretty much all of that same information and a lot of lettering in Japanese that I cannot read yet, maybe eventually. But yeah, let's go ahead and remove this sticker, open these up, and take a closer look. All right, I went ahead and removed the sticker. Now let's just go ahead and bend this back a little bit. And it looks like it comes on a little thin plastic encasing. Go ahead and slide it out. So these are what the headphones look like. It's unfortunate, it looks like they're already scratched up somehow, even though I just pulled them out of the packaging. I'm not sure how that happened. I was thinking that there might have been something that I could have uh, peeled off or something but that's actually not too great. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. I'm sure that this might come off with a little bit of scrubbing maybe, but it definitely looks like these might have already been used somehow. I'm not too sure if someone returned these and they just reshelved them or they just are not manufactured well. But let's go ahead and turn them around. Very interesting design in here. The fabric is a little bit loose though. I'm being kind of critical with these given the price that they are. And uh, you can tell that the quality of the, uh, you know, putting together portion wasn't done that well. Um, it does have a swivel right here, which is really nice. Some even larger companies and uh, whatnot don't add that extra swivel for people. And uh, some people like my fiance have migraine issues so that extra bit of leeway and less pressure on the head can definitely help stuff like that. This isn't too bad of a uh, comfort thing. It's a little stiff, but um, I've actually felt quite worse. But we're not really looking too much at the build quality versus the sound quality. Because if you're getting a $5 pair of headphones, you're definitely going to be probably looking to just find something cheap to use in the meantime, not as your daily driver. But yeah, let's go ahead and plug these in using the blue jack that it comes with and see what kind of sound we can get out of these. Maybe I'll be surprised. Now as per usual, I've loaded up some no copyright music and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug the headphones into the bottom of here. Went in pretty easily. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down, click play and bring them to my ears. Let's also adjust that volume a bit all the way up. Hmm. All right, guys, and now I'm gonna put this up to the microphone so you guys can hear a little bit. Uh, let's see. So, I'm going to give my blunt, honest opinion because I'm not going to lie to you guys. These things are 
they're pretty terrible. Um, I wouldn't have bashed them as hard, um, but when I went to put them on, the actual mechanism for adjusting it is so incredibly stiff. If you look in right here, it's just a piece of plastic going into other grooves of hard plastic. So it's not like, look at that. It's just skipping through here. It's a pretty terrible adjustment. And uh, finally, the sound quality. I'd say the sound quality is about a, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be generous and say it's a good maybe four out of 10, maybe a 3.5, but it lacks the equalness between the treble and the bass. It kind of feels like it's too trebly, if you know what I mean, kind of like a pair of cheap earbuds that you'd get at a gas station. But the look is really nice. And let's say you wanted to use these for like a costume or something, or maybe like a retro night at some place. I think that they could fit a outfit like that. What do you guys think? Kind of a novelty headset. Wasn't expecting a whole lot from them, but uh, still interesting nonetheless. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.